No, there's nothing foul about this turkey. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a smoked Texas-style turkey breast. This is gonna be a boneless, skinless turkey breast that we're gonna throw on the grill with a little bit of wood for some smoke flavor, then gonna wrap it with some butter to get tons of juiciness, tons of flavor, and a really great final product. Now the first step in this process is breaking down the turkey breast. Let me show you how I did that. So we bought this turkey breast at the store, just the regular grocery store in the frozen poultry section. It comes without the legs or the wings, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the skin, and we're gonna break down that turkey breast off the bone so we're left with a boneless, skinless turkey breast. So I'm gonna start by just taking some of this excess skin off, and then we'll get underneath here and start carving away at it. And we're just pulling that skin right off, kinda of use the knife to coax it off the meat. And obviously we don't wanna cut into the meat yet because we wanna have a clean slate so we can see what we're doing to get that turkey breast off the bone. After removing the skin, we're gonna start carving away to get these turkey breasts off. We're gonna go right down the breastbone, following that with our knife so we can kind of peel away the turkey breast. We're going to stay as close to that breastbone as we can so we get all of the meat possible off of this bird. Then when you can't go down anymore you're going to start to angle your knife out and away. And just work it along that breastbone. Like that. And we're nice and close to the breastbone here, not sacrificing too much meat, which is really good. So we'll do the same to the other side, and then we'll be ready to season in no time. Now that we have the turkey breast off of our bones here, we're gonna save this for later. We're gonna make some really nice stock for some gravy or even potentially some soup later. As with any seasoning process, the first thing we wanna do is pat our meat dry, pull off any of that extra water moisture that's not gonna do us any good, so that our seasoning will adhere a lot better. If you have excess moisture on the surface of your meat, it's also gonna hinder the smoke absorption process by creating a layer of moisture that will prevent the smoke from penetrating into the meat. For our seasoning on these two beautiful turkey breasts, I'm actually going with two different kinds, and they're wildly different in their flavor profiles. Our first one is gonna be Cockadoodle Brew Beer Can Chicken Rub. This is gonna be great pairing with poultry as it's designed for a beer can chicken. It's gonna have notes of honey, brown sugar, those salt and pepper garlic flavors that we want as well. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a classic flavor profile for our smoked turkey breast. And for our other one, we're gonna be using our rodeo rub. This is originally designed for beef, but it plays really well with turkey breast. Turkey breast is very malleable and takes on a lot of different flavors, pretty much anything you wanna cook with. And this is gonna be a little bit smokier, a little bit of heat, but it's still a good amount of sweetness. So I'm gonna start on the underside here. And you can kind of lift that turkey tenderloin right there and get some seasoning in there. Pat it on there a little bit, flip, and we'll season the top. Now for our rodeo rub version. Lift that tenderloin, get in there. And now we're gonna let our turkey breasts rest at room temperature for about 20 to 25 minutes. In this time, the seasoning's gonna adhere really well to the meat, and it's gonna bring the temperature of our meat a little closer to room temp before going onto the smoker. If you go onto the smoker with really cold meat, you can shock the meat a little bit and some of that seasoning can slough off. So we're gonna do everything we can to avoid that. I've got our big green egg preheated to 275 degrees, which is the perfect smoking temperature for our turkey. And we're gonna set these directly on the rack. I did throw a hunk of hardwood on our coals so that we can get some nice smoky flavor. Doesn't really matter too much which flavor because we are using a few different types of seasonings on our turkey. 
So as long as we get a nice smooth smoke, I think we're gonna be really happy. And I am setting these with the breast side up or serve side up, if you will, to start because later once we go in the wrap, we'll put that side down. My Bluetooth probe says that we've hit 150 degrees internal temperature, which means it's time for our wrap. I have three sticks of melted butter for the two turkey breasts. That might seem like a lot, but that's gonna add a ton of flavor, some fat, and a ton of moisture for our final product, which is gonna be really nice and juicy. We're gonna start by placing our turkey breast serve side down. We'll pull up the foil a little bit, leaving that probe in there because we still wanna monitor our temperature. Pour in our butter. Seal it up and back on the smoker. Now we're gonna let these go until we hit 165 degrees internal temperature and we'll rest them to bring them up to 167. The turkey breasts are well rested. So now my favorite part of every video is cutting into them and giving them a try. Look at all that butter. I actually saved that butter too because it's really nice for dipping. It's so gluttonous but it's so, so good. Nice and juicy, a lot of butter on the exterior. So I'm just gonna slice and we'll give them a try. Now they should slice really easily because this meat's gonna be nice and tender. And look at that. You can tell how juicy that is. And this is right at that tenderloin piece where we lift it up and got the seasoning on the inside. So this is gonna be a really flavorful bite. All right, I'm gonna start with the classic cockadoodle brew. We got nice, even coloration, a little bit of a smoke ring. You can tell it's nice and juicy. And in where we lifted up that tenderloin, there's nice seasoning in there too. So I'm excited to see this. That is awesome. Beautifully sweet, nice and salty. Tons of tenderness and juiciness in this turkey breast. Really happy with the way this one turned out, but I definitely got to try with some butter too. Now I'm gonna go in for the rodeo rub version here. It's so tender, so juicy. And you wouldn't think that that rodeo rub plays with turkey since it's designed for beef, but the smokiness and the sweet, spicy mixture that we have going on there plays beautifully, along with the smoky flavors coming from our charcoal grill. Wonderful, wonderful combination. You gotta try the butter, of course. Mm. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And it's really quite surprisingly easy to get a high yield, really juicy and delicious meal for, I could probably fit six or seven people at my table with this amount of meat. I think our flavor combinations are perfect. Feel free to try your own, but this method is really gonna get you a great final product. For this recipe and more, including the products I use, head to psseasoning.com for more information. If you like this video, please click subscribe and then you can always check us out on all forms of social media. Till next time, I'm Chef Jed. Thanks for watching.